who was a merchant. And he was going through a marketplace and he saw a pearl. And that pearl was more beautiful than anything he'd ever seen. So he took everything he had and he sold it to buy that. How many like that, that parable? I mean, didn't that kind of make it simple? I thought, yeah, that's what it is. You've got to sell it. You've got to be willing to lay down everything. You've got to be willing to invest everything, all your time, all your talent, all your motivation, all your cares. But there's another side to that. And it's this. You're that pearl. And you're that pearl. And you're that pearl. And God took everything he had. He took his only son. And he sold him. That he might buy you. Because you are more beautiful than anything he's ever seen. You see, we've got to start thinking about how much God has committed himself to us. And out of that love of God, we'll be able to walk with him. We can talk about self-denial all we want. The best way to accomplish self-denial is to learn just to do what he asks you to do. You can make lists, you can quit this, you can want to get rid of that, but if you just walk in simple obedience. Let me tell you, he's got a plan for your life that is impossible for you to do without him. And yet if you don't do it, you're going to still be looking for that mysterious adventure that's going to satisfy you. Part of the plan for me is I want to see healing come to the body of Christ. Because I know what it's like to be broken. I know what it's like to be lonely. I know what it's like to have the joy of the Lord and to be a man of sorrows. Because that's who I am. I mean, I'm not bummed out about what happened to me back then. This stuff doesn't bother me. But I've gone through some stuff that's a lot harder than the air, makes the airplane crash look like a cakewalk. I have the joy of the Lord, but I'm still a man of sorrows. We live in this world. This is not perfect because what I saw there, that is better. But God had a reason for me to come back here, and one of them, one of those reasons is to encourage people. He's got a plan for your life. If he can take me, if there's anything about my life that should make sense, it's that God let me become absolute weakness. There is not a doctor. I had an atheist doctor tell me that what happened to me was a miracle from God. There is not a doctor that would examine me or read my report to say that anything is possible for none of me to be, be alive but to, have, to be able to walk and to be able to see. But what happened to me inside is awesome. He gave me hope where there was no hope. And I know there are people that look like they're together on the outside. Let me tell you something. God's not looking for people who got their act together. He's looking for a people who know their act is over. <laughs> he can't... He really can't use people who got it all figured out. He can use people who say, Lord, you'll have to show me. you have to do it through me. But he wants... He's chosen to use people to work his will. And it's going to be people that have a heart that's renewed and have a passion. I want you to pray with me right now. Lord, I thank you that out of weakness and out of hopelessness, you manifested your strength and your love, which is, which is otherworldly. Lord, I have been touched by a supernatural being from another dimension that we call God, but it's, you're, that's not a good enough word. I thank you, Lord, that you forgive our sins. And not only do, you, do, you, do we have a promise to be with you in heaven, this is not about death. This is about life and what we're to do with it. And I pray for these people tonight, anybody else that might hear this, that God has a plan for your life that's the greatest adventure that you'll ever get to go on. And it comes through a person named Jesus Christ if you will just identify with his love, with his power, he will change your life. He'll arrest you and apprehend you and he'll bring you into his purposes and you'll find out what it really means to be alive. Tonight, I want you to know that you are that pearl that God looks at and says, you're beautiful. I want to touch your hurt. I want to touch your brokenness. I want to touch your talent and I want to Use it for my glory. And in the process, you're going to enjoy things that you can't even begin to understand. What could have been the tragic end of my life has turned out to be a new beginning of a brand new life. There's lots of things that I didn't share in my story because the things that happened in my life go right up until today. There's been experiences and encounters that uh, God has given me. I've got a wife, four children, and I'd be 
remiss or I'd be a liar to say that everything in my life has been perfect since I've come to know the Lord. No, there have been struggles, great struggles, but the difference is I always have a place to go at the end of the day or during the day to take my troubles to. And, and God has proven to be, to me, a person who really loves me and is interested in even the smallest detail in my life, not just the big things like a life-threatening disaster, but in the, in the smallest detail of my life. I believe that I am alive for a reason. Part of that reason is to go everywhere I can and share the hope that there is in the Lord. I don't know where you're at. I don't know if you've been trained. I don't know if you've been in church. I don't know if you're in someone's home watching this video. But I can tell you that what you've seen tonight is a true story of a man who was brought to absolute hopeless weakness so that God could show his love and his infinite power. I was not just restored physically, but I was restored spiritually, mentally, and emotionally. And the love that I have now is more than human love. It's the love of God. I want you to know that love. I believe that why I'm alive is to share with people that there is hope when it seems like there's no hope and that there's a reason that you're alive. I don't think that we should just hang around here for 40 or 50 or 60 years and be some highly involved beast just to shove all the pleasure in that we can. If that's all there is to life, then you might as well party. But I know and I've seen that there's a life beyond this. But what we do here is important. And I think that you need to know that you can have a personal relationship with Jesus without meeting with disaster. All you have to do is ask. It's as close to you as your ability to pray. If you want to pray to know the Lord, if you want to pray for a deeper walk in the Lord, I want you to pray with me right now. Lord, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. I want to know him as my Lord and my Master. I want to be forgiven of my sin. And I want to start a brand new life. I want to have direction. I want my life to count for something. Jesus, I ask you to come into my life to make me a new person and to send me on the path that you want me to walk on and to do the things you want me to do. I surrender my heart to you that you might have full rule and reign in my life. I ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. If you'd like to know more about how you can have a relationship with the Lord or more about how you can let your own personal life make a difference in this world. We're going to have an address and a phone number at the end of this video. But remember, even if you didn't pray tonight when you saw this or today, remember, God knows your heart. As much as he was able to hear my desperate prayer, and I tell people, if there's anything that's significant or outstanding about my life, it's that my life is an example of weakness. And by contrast, God was able to show his overpowering love and his unlimited strength that in weakness I've been made strong that through my weakness God has shown his love if there's anything outstanding about me it's that, I, it's that he's taken the weak things of this world to show his love so there's nothing I can brag about about the good things that happened to me but I can thank God that he's given me a, a second chance and it's been my pleasure to share that with you on this video I hope you can enjoy it share it with someone else and know that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Thanks.